Today I'm going to tell you how to scrape data from a website using Python using the packages URL lib2 and beautiful soup and I'm going to also tell you how to assign the output of a for loop to a list that that's the most interesting part so let's just start so I've already written a little little bit of code so let me just go through it first of all I um, I imported your URL lib2 this is one of the packages which is necessary and then I imported beautiful soup and this is the link this is the website name that I'm going to scrape and this has been assigned to a variable called URL another variable I've created request again you can use uh, whatever you want to you can name it whatever you want to and URL lib2 dot URL open URL. So URL open is the method and this is the function. Okay, the function is built inside beautiful soup. Sorry, URL lib2 and the method is uh, built inside a function. Then uh, I'm going to create another variable data. Again, you can name it whatever you want to. Therein I will uh, make the previous variable which is a quest variable read by assigning a method read and then I'm going to write soup beautiful soup and the parameter here to be fed in is data all right everything is cool now let's just see a couple of links that needs to be scraped that we are looking forward to so right now I want all the links of the images that are present in this uh, website so how do we write it we write it as soup dot so the moment you type dot you see this bunch of methods that appear we need find all here here you go and then open parenthesis close parenthesis inside that we are going to write what part or or if you if you if you know the HTML and the JavaScript code inside by, by clicking on the inspect element on the website you will be able to see all the div class all the uh, all the code that we use to write a paragraph for example in, in front of a paragraph we write p all right in front of an image we write img similarly you need to put in the uh, file i mean to say that html extension so right now we are looking for all the images so images in HTML is written as ing and we are going to enter there you go so these are bunch of images that are present see HTML bgpeg training jpg and we also have some extra information which is uh, not required as of now so now we are going to um, go for a little more specific data we are going to sort this this chunk of data for that we are going to create a for loop so we write it as for items again I have mentioned it as items you can put it whatever you want to items in soup dot find all IMG IMG is the extension that we used and we are going to print items dot and the method that are, that we are going to use is oh it's not popping up so the method that we are going to use is get so inside IMG we are interested in the SRC source which which the full form of src is source that contains all the links of the images src there we go cool so we have all the links of the images if you want you can just copy one of the links and you can try it out 
in your browser and see that particular image so now we have the output for the for loop now how do we assign this to a list so that we can use it for the next function or we can we can use it for some other method how do we use that so first first we are going to assign soup dot find all and I am this this port, this portion over here we're going to assign this a variable so let us create a variable a it can be again anything you can you can name yourself you can name whatever you want to so I'm creating it as a it's much easier and I'm going to put it as soup find all IMG oh I'm really sorry I'm really sorry we don't need to assign a variable to it let's just let's just go with it yeah so um, yeah before uh, we assign this entire links that we just got to assign this to a list we need to create an empty list so let's uh, assign that list to let's assign an empty variable empty empty list to a variable which is urls again you can name it whatever you want to so i'm naming this as urls and i'm going to create an empty list just to just a square bracket open and close that's it enter and now we are going to write the same for loop again for items in soup dot find all img now we are not going to en press enter we are going to write comma and we are going to mention the src which we wrote it in the previous code src is equal to true so what it does is it's telling it's telling the for loop here that the src within the image extension is true it is available we are telling the loop that it's available okay now we're going to say now we are going to write urls because that is the empty list dot append so the dot append method what it does is it adds the output which which is these links to this empty variable empty list url that the name of that uh, list is urls it will be assigned to it so urls dot append open parentheses and close inside that we'll write items uh, then open and close square bracket because now we are making the items inside we are going to append the output of this this over here so items src all right enter now we're going to write print url s enter great amazing so if you can see all the links are now inside this square bracket so anything inside a square bracket in python is a list you want to recheck it again so let's just type url s enter there you go so everything is being fed into this list now we can use this variable urls to any any function further and you can use it what for, for whatever that you may think about thank you for watching this video and keep watching more